Alright guys, today we have knee slice, stepping over, we're gonna hit the Kamora to the arm bar. Check it out. Big thing is, is you don't wanna keep your feet too close, cause now he's probably gonna scoot in, wrestle up, and now I have to deal with this guard. So I wanna stay low and protect my legs. He tries to come up and grab my legs, I'm defending, I'm not letting him get a hold of my legs, okay? So when we're drilling, let's get in the habit of protecting our legs and staying low. I'm gonna step in, Lift up, same side hip, staple the knee, get to that knee cut position, try to get this elbow down and get my shoulder beneath the knee. Okay? Or back up, he's gonna sit up, get his back on the mat, same side hip, same side knee, get my knee down. We're gonna do the drill one more time, guys, okay? Because I want you guys to touch up on it. I saw some of you with this leg in here. I want you to step over it for this one because we're going to be setting up a knee cut position. Don't have this leg too far up, up, uh, up high. Keep it back here. Focus on getting the shoulder low. We're back. He's going to sit up. Get his back on the mat. Same side hip, same side knee. Get to my knee cut position. Get my shoulder beneath his knee. Uh, questions, guys, after you did it one time? Uh, any questions that came up? Yeah? Let's try one more time. Ready? One, two. Get a hand that's on our hip now. So we're doing the same thing. We're getting that hand on our hip. Okay, look. I'm going to shoot my elbow to the mat so I get this underhook. This underhook when knee cutting is crucial, guys. If I try to knee cut without the underhook, I'm getting my opponent in my back. I'm sure you guys have done that before. <coughs> it sucks. You're in great position and then you. And then I'm giving up your back. Okay, my elbow's in. All I'm doing, guys, I'm shooting my hand and elbow to the mat. I'm clicking my hip to his hip. Now I'm going to overhook this arm. Kick my leg through. Lift his head up. Get to our side control. Okay? Right here, stay low, guys. Get your shoulder underneath his knee to beat the knee shield. Okay, now I'm gonna, see how I kinda bring my shoulder up so I can get into this space. If I just try to shoot from here, it's kind of a hard angle. Once I get this underhook, guys, I'm gonna overhook this other arm. A lot of time you can just slide through. Sometimes if he locks his legs real tight here, I might have to kick my leg out. Okay, once I'm out, I'm gonna lift, replace with my knee, hug his head, and secure the side control. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side now. Here, sometimes I need to pass my shoulder so I can get into this space. Over hook, slide through, lift, replace with the crosses. Questions? All we're doing, guys, same side that's on the hip, is getting the underhook. One underhook, one overhook. To remember what side you need as an underhook, it's the same side that your knee's in. Same side knee. Slide through, pull them up, secure the side control, shoulder on the chin, get the click. Okay, let's try it out guys, one, two. Okay, right, so we're gonna lift them up. We're gonna do the same thing we just did. Shoot through, get my underhook, and pass, right? A lot of times, he's gonna start to try to frame on you and push. Yes, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna C grip his wrist, and staple. Okay, sometimes if this is here, I wanna get it on this side of my shoulder. Okay, so I staple one arm, Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to windshield wiper. Windshield wiper. See my legs? Windshield wiper. Rain's coming back tomorrow. Have it ready. So I'm stapling this leg, okay? 
I'm going to cup his shoulder and bring my elbow on the inside of his stomach. Or on, the, on his chest. Okay? Now, guys, as you can see, I have this space here. When I step over his head, I need to take up this space and pinch. Pinch my knees together. This pinch is very important because if I'm loose with his knee, he's just going to bring his back to the mat and I lose the arm. I can re-attack it, but I'm already in good position. Let's keep it. So I'm going to pull him to the side, take up this space with my knee, and look, I'm squeezing his body on the chest and his back with my knees. So now when he tries to get his uh, back to the mat, it's a little bit harder. Okay, it's not impossible, especially when he gets slippery, um, but it's going to slow him down a little bit. And then when you add the Kimura grip, it's going to be very hard for him to get his back to the mat. So check this, check out this switch, guys. So when I'm here at windshield wipe, let's turn this way down. So I had my right hand under hook. When I step over his head and pinch, I'm gonna switch so my left arm is hooking his, his arm. The reason being, I don't wanna, some of you guys are gonna try to grab the wrist like this, but look, I have to pull his arm behind his head to finish the Kimura. An easy way to remember is I need to grab his wristwatch and push his hand behind his head. It makes sense, right? This probably isn't as strong as this. So switch arms, grab his wrist, and grab your own wrist. Okay? Sometimes they defend, they try to stay tight here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put some pressure on his ribs here, and I'm going to pull up with my body. Some of you guys are going to try to use your arms. I'm going to connect it to my chest and extend up like this with my whole body. So it's a lot of power. And I like to kind of push his wrist it kind of gets like a bicep slicer here. I like to pull his um, wrist to his shoulder. If it's extended like this, it's going to be hard. So I like to pull it in. Now I'll use my body. And now I'm just going to put his hand behind his head until you get the tap. Okay? So let's go from the top, guys. Here. Underhook. Cut. C grip. Staple. If this hand is here, Pass it to the other side, windshield white, pull him onto the side. Okay, this space here, you need to step over and squeeze. I'm pinching my knees as tight as I can. Now we need to switch our arms, grab his wrist, pull it down. You feel a little bicep slice a little bit, a little pressure on the bicep. Now I'm coming up and ripping. Here's another little detail I like to throw in there, guys. When I'm going for this Kimura and they're super strong, I'll play with the tempo. So I'll go one, two, and then on that third one, it's a, it's like a big pull and then a small pull because he's getting used to this rhythm. One, two, three, and then on that last one, I hit a stutter. So he's like, oh, okay, this guy's gonna pull it every two seconds. And then on that last one, it's a, okay, one. Two. So he thinks I'm going back down, but then I'm hitting a stutter step. Okay? One more time. Yeah? Questions? Yeah? Let's try it out, guys. One, two. So let me use you down. One more going, guys. we're going, look, when we're here, I really need to pull him onto his side. Because if he's here and I try to step over, his back's already on the ground and I lose it. So really pull him onto his side and take up this space with your knee. And uh, I want you guys to, instead of just dropping your knee behind his neck, look, get your back to the mat. He still can. I'm not, con I'm not stopping his back from getting to the mat if I only squeeze his neck with this knee. So really try to get towards the middle of his back. See how I'm squeezing you, Devin? It's a little bit harder for him to get his back to the mat here versus here. It's a little bit harder, guys. We just gotta make things a little bit harder for them so that way we can get the finish. Okay, we know how to get here. We switch arms. Now all we're doing, guys, we're stepping this leg up. Say this guy is C-Rod or Juan and you can't come more of them. 
Now we're going to try to attack the arm. Okay? So we're going to lift this leg up. My left knee is going on top of his lat right here. Okay? Left knee is going on top of his lat or like his rib. And now look, guys, when I fall back to the arm bar, I'm connecting this to my chest and I'm kind of pulling him in. You see, there's no space here. When I have this Kimura and I sit, look, I pull him to me. Okay, he's gonna try to, say he tries a running man, I have a Kimura. So don't let go of this until you're secure. So I like to go here, then throw my other leg so it's harder for him to running man. Try to running man, I even catch with my, my hook here. Because sometimes you guys go for the arm bar and this is loose and he gets off. Go back a little bit. So don't try to go for the arm bar until, so what I'm saying is don't let go of the Kimura until you get this leg here and you're catching this near side hip. I want to pinch my knees but also catch this hip. Okay, now all I'm doing, grabbing his thumb, getting two hands to the thumb, falling back, my knees are pinched, and then I bridge into his arm. Look guys, if my knees are lazy, look how far I can get his arm. Look, it's all the way down. Right? But look, if I pinch my knees together, look, I have like a good range to break now. Now I just bridge into his arm as I pull into my chest. And the important thing about controlling this thumb is if he turns his thumb out, he can start to do that escape. So I need to control the thumb and pull him back in. Center chest, pinch my knees, bridge it to his elbow. Yeah. So we step over, we're in that Kimura position, guys. I'm gonna lift my leg up, put my knee on his ribs, pull him in. And don't let go of this. If he tries the running man, I have Kimura right here. I just shove this right behind his head. Okay? So I throw my other leg and catch this hip. Try the running man out. Or hitchhiker, I'm sorry, not running there. Hitchhiker, it's hard. Okay, now look guys, I'm gonna pinch my knees, grab that thumb, go center chest. You can even go to this hip as well. Bridge. Yeah, question? The biggest thing on this guys, is keep that Kimura until you're ready. There's no rush here. Look, pull them in. There's no rush, go move around. Kimura, take your time, get my other leg here. Try to hitchhiker, then I pinch my knees, grab the thumb, center chest, pinch, bridge. Okay? Let's try it guys. One, two. Kimura over the arm bar. Tight. I'm going to pinch tight, go leg over, and then I like to. That's a good one. Nice. <laughs> go for it. That's not my favorite side. There you go. This is their side. There you go. Top leg, switch.
Nice. Nice. Perfect. Very good. Good job. First day on the pressure. 